eat? Mm-hmm. Was it Dave and Buster's? There's enough food yeah, options. If you're salty, you can go to Dave and Buster's. <laughs> you, go, you, go, you go play games <laughs> you can actually have fun at. Yeah, I know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but remember, this game was made to have fun. But <laughs> these two on the on the stage right now, Loke, Rival. Let's see if they're going to have fun. Right now, they just starting off. Like, Rival started off strong. Yeah. Just like a clear string. Oh, mixing him up, reading that air dodge right into the ground. Oh, and he's just still hitting him. Let, let this man play the game. <laughs> let this man have fun. <laughs> man, let, he's holding the sticks, man. Let, let him, oh, my let him feel like he's playing the game. Mm-hmm. Mom said his mind's turning to play. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to tell his mom when you die. Ooh. There's the fair and the uppy. That's invincible. Can't really challenge that at all. But Rival's still hitting him off stage with back airs. Oh, the whole jazz. There's a flip kick. Mm-hmm. The one thing for Rival, too, is like... Even when he goes off stage, you have to really be aware that he'll come back with flip kick mm-hmm. and try to space yourself and anticipate that. Like, see what I'm saying? He goes off the stage, comes out with the flip kick, gets you with the one, two, finish your stock, and you, you're done. And for uh, for Loke, his opportunity, he should be looking at it like, hold on, if he's going off stage like this, the way he comes back, I gotta pay attention. I don't know if it still has that mechanic, but like, back then, if you threw out like any option, you wouldn't get buried. Yeah. So, like, if. Maybe, maybe Loke, as Ooh. soon as he sees the animation, just press a button. Yeah. Honestly, because like that's kind of like the the anti Street Fighter tech. Usually, when you get when you press a button in that game, like you get punished real hard. In this one, you kind of get rewarded for pressing buttons. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, depends how you press your buttons. Yeah. If you <laughs> press the right buttons. Ooh, trying to go for a shield breaker. Oh. He almost got the tech juice on that one. Mm-hmm. Would have been good for rival too. Oh, great forward smash! There we go. See, that's that's the right button. Yeah. <laughs> Saw the, he saw the animation go through, he's like, smack him away. And now, Rival still hanging with the back air, and he's got such a clean lead. Yeah. For, for Loke, he's kind of a little bit, no, I wouldn't say he's flustered, but he's like working on it, and then Rival just works even harder for it. He, he's really good at not only understanding how, well, the spacing that Loke has, but he's also understanding like how to move in and out of Lucina's range. Mm-hmm. See, so yeah, at that situation, he's really content with just coming back on the stage, but he goes for a down smash. Doesn't pay off quite well. Uh, okay. The one thing for Loke, too, is also understanding, like, he's consistently putting Rival off the stage. So when he, when it comes down to edge guards, he should be, like I said earlier, just be looking for his landing. Mm-hmm. Well, it's more like... See, like, right there, he had a pretty decently spaced forward smash. Like, if he would have anticipated the the flip kick, Ooh, he would have really caught yeah, him I... with a forward smash. <laughs> yeah, but, like, I kind of feel like... He kind of got rocked at the beginning, right? Yeah. It was just, it's like, oh no, it's a, it's a little late. And like, he kind of found his footing and now it's looking a little cleaner. But now it, it, it might be a little too late. <laughs> like, he, he kind of got, he, he nearly got zero to death. Yeah. So like, he's playing from his whole stock behind. I mean, now the stocks are even, but the, the percents are different. So for Loke, it's how much neutral victory am I getting here? Mm-hmm. And it starts up with an up tilt. Pretty good opportunity here for going to check chase and newly waiting for the invincibility to run out and then follow up with that. Oh, oh. that bear. That was unfortunate for Loke. Because well, it, that, that up tilt looked like it should have hit him. <laughs> yeah, it really did. And it's a really good opportunity for him to go for the anti-air, specifically because the SS is going to be coming in with an aerial. Mm-hmm. The way that Rival's been playing, he's going to be coming in with a lot of aerials. So I respect the anti-air, but I would have respected the spacing. Mm-hmm. I would have respected, like, hey, hold up. If he's going to come in with flip kick or with a, with just an empty hop, he might be getting me with something back on the stage. And even if I'm going for an anti-air, the wind that poked through with the spacing that Rival had, mm-hmm. yeah, you can see how that went. That bear was out. just... That bear was... It's still so perfect. good. That yeah. bear was just perfect for him. Yeah. Bear, bear for ZSS is still good in this game. Like, I, I do like that um, they kind of went for a mix of her toolkit between Brawl and Smash 4. Like, it's not 100%, you know, Smash 4 uh, ZSS or Brawl ZSS, but it's a bit of a mix of both. Oh, my God. Why are we on the stage? Ah, uh, yo, she's. I actually like this dude. Yo, man, I don't. This, man, this, this is the new Lila. Mm-hmm. I know. This is the new Lila. I mean, <laughs> like the auto ban. <laughs> yeah, this is this is worse Battlefield. This is literally what it is. No, I'm sorry. This is worse Smash Bros. I don't know. Some characters could utilize that little slant like beautifully. Yeah, but in, in that case, if we're talking slants, um, you know, man, just give me Yoshi's Island. Yoshi, y- y- Yoshi Story. <laughs> Actually, I felt like the other one was originally called Yoshi Story 64, mm-hmm. but they just changed it to Super Happy Tree in this game. Mm-hmm. I, I kind of feel like it, if this stage was had hazards on, it it would serve more of a purpose. Yeah, right. The the ghosts that come out. Mm-hmm. The ghosts that come out. The the tilt on that middle platform. It it would benefit. It would be. Uh, it, I feel like the stage would be 
viewed a lot differently. It is really good though for both characters because they also kill exceptionally early in the stage. Mm -hmm. uh, for, especially for Lucina, right? Mm -hmm. you, you are playing neutral pretty well. You are getting your neutral air. You are getting your side B, your anti airs, and eventually when you have your opponent at a, high, at a certain percent off the ledge, usually typically around 60 to 70, you get that F smash at the right spot, right on your opponent's landing, on your opponent's recovery, especially against rival like that. You're getting a pretty significant stock at a pretty solid percent. Yeah, but the problem is he did. He's still behind yet again at the beginning. Yeah. And like, oh man, and that up be out of shield is gonna punish him really hard. He's playing catch up when he should be playing to understand. Like mm -hmm. for him, it's he needs to look at his rival and understand what are his options, his approaches. He needs to look at his rival. Yeah. <laughs> Coincidentally, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure rival like. He's like gonna review this vibe. He's like, I was waiting for that day. I was waiting for that moment. <laughs> like, <when laughs> this, this is the day I've been waiting for, right? For him to call my name this way. <laughs> yeah, waiting for that bad joke moment, you know? Oh, man. This is upset. This is pretty. This, speaking of like bad joke moment, it's a bad joke to just. For for Loke to still feel that safe mm. at that point in the stage, mm -hmm. right? He should have been looking to space that. Yeah. Because he knows that Rival's super content with coming back with a flip kick. Mm. And if you space that out, you're going to make the right call out and get the stock when Rival thought he was safe. Mm. Yeah, as I said before, you got, you got, he kind of just stood there waiting for him to get, like, waiting for himself to get flip kicked. And yeah. you get punished really hard for that. Exactly. And he was only spaced for a roll get up, mm -hmm. a neutral get up, and probably a get up attack. And with Zare, and even if, even if Rival did go for a Zare from the ledge, he was going to hit Loke. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the better spacing would have been understanding is let go of the ledge a little bit and then read the actual comeback. Oh, that's not what you wanted. No, that's oh. not what you wanted. I mean, it though. worked out, though. <laughs> it's the assess, though, man. It works out. Oh, man. That was, that, was, that dash attack was probably a forward smash miss input. It. Yeah. Um, All right, let's that, go to the ledge oh, here. Oh, trying to get him with the dare. Super but he missed risky. That. Oh, oh, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. What no, was that's that? The game, that's the GameStop shirt. <laughs> that's like, let me play on my Pokemon Fire Red for Halo 2. Decent game, but you're still you're still not getting much money back. Halo two, decent Pokemon like red. A, yeah, that's like trading Pokemon Fire Red for like Call of Duty Ghosts. Call of Duty Ghosts. 